Hey guys, Norm Betancourt from Tactical uh, Self Defense here. Um, today's post, what I like to talk about, is something I saw just recently with a with a trainer. Um, what basically happened was I was watching um, the trainer go through some knife and gun disarming um, techniques, and I put his uh, his students through some scenarios. Um, the interesting thing that I noticed about when he was putting his students through scenarios, especially with the knife disarming tactics, was uh, when he either used a shock knife or uh, a rubber knife and he put um, put some lipstick on the blade, um, you know, he would have his, uh, his student do his defensive and uh, disarming techniques <clears throat> and um, on a student. And what would happen is every time a student would get slashed or cut, you know, a couple of times, um, he would say, stop, okay, we're done, you're dead, next. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, why are you doing that, you know? Um, it's kind of interesting with 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 the method with the mentality of training is if you're training that way, what are you telling yourself subconsciously? Okay, so here you are, you're doing a scenario, you're supposed to disarm a guy with a knife, you know, be able to, you know, do your tactics to protect yourself. The reality is, um, in a knife attack, it's not going to be so easy to disarm a guy. You're going to get cut, you're going to get slashed. Now, the most important thing is, don't get slashed in vital areas, such as arteries, okay? And what I was noticing through this, uh, you know, trainer scenarios was, the students that were getting slashed, which was all of them, um would end up dying after two slashes or two stab wounds, um, they're only being slashed in the arms, you know, forearms, or non-vital areas. It wasn't in, you know, in the carotid, it wasn't in the, you know, in the femoral artery or anything like that. And, you know, here's the instructor and, and trainer telling the guys, okay, you're dead because you've been slashed, you know, in the forearm or in the arm. You know, like, what's that about? You're subconsciously teaching your, your students to give up when you get cut. And the reality is you are going to be cut. Big deal if you get cut in the arm. Big deal if you get slashed. Big deal. Move on, be a man, and fight through it. Because your training should, or your trainer should instruct you that regardless of how much injury or punishment your body is taking, you can overcome that. And deal with the situation at hand. You know, so when I'm training with my guys and they're using, you know, whatever, you know, instrument that they're using uh, as a knife, when you get slashed and cut, you don't stop and give up. You keep going. You get that job done of protecting those vital arteries and disarming, you know, your attacker. Because the reality is, in the real world, you will get cut and slashed. And if you subconsciously have that thought in your head that you're gone because you got one little scratch on you or one little cut on you, then you'll mentally give up. And that's the end of it for you. Okay? So make sure when you're doing your training um, that you remind yourself that just because you've been shot or stabbed in a training scenario doesn't mean you're dead. Just a minor injury. And even if it's a major injury, many, many individuals have overcome these injuries, survived the attack, and, you know, dealt with their attacker and took them out. Okay? And that's the primary thing of training is teaching yourself mentally, you know, to be tough. It's not just a physical aspect, but it's more mental. How tough are you mentally? Because if I'm in an altercation and I get stabbed or shot, I don't care how many freaking times, I'm not going to go down. Why? Because I've trained myself to do that. Now, the reality is I may get shot, you know, in the femoral or, you know, stabbed in the femoral artery. I'm going to have about a minute and a half to bleed out. But guess what? I'm going to still keep fighting. Because if I have an injury and I see it and I have that subconscious thought of, well, I might as well give up now. Because that's what I'm doing in training. Because my trainer is teaching me that kind of thing. Then I'm screwed. I'm only screwing myself. So keep that in mind next time you're training. When you're doing any type of training. Regardless of how many times you get hit. How many times you get, you know, stabbed, shot. Whatever it is. You shouldn't be giving up. 
you shouldn't say stop you're dead uh, or your trainer is saying that if you have a trainer that says that fire them get rid of them get somebody who knows what they're doing and is teaching you how to be you know not only physically tough and resilient but also mentally because it's all about this up here 90 percent of the equation is all up here okay till the next time remember no such thing as a dirty fighter only an educated one